Hey guys, I'm back! So, this is going to be episode 3 of Doki Doki Literature Club. And I have a feeling, uh, based on some things that people have told me, things are about to get weird. But I don't know. Um, either way, I want to apologize for uh, the, uh, I don't know, tone of my voice in the last video. I was trying to keep my voice down and I ended up being really, like, monotoned. So I'm going to try my hardest not to do that this time, and I also moved the microphone a little closer to me, so I hope that that isn't going to be a problem. Actually, check right now to see. It's actually not that bad. Alright, so we're good. Alright, so, let's see. I think we left off with another poem. Oh, I also want to say a big thank you to my one Patreon supporter, <laughs> Doc. Because, thanks to Patreon, I was able to get... Uh, the paid version of the video editor that I was using, and it's awesome. So, better quality videos, it's just, it's a win-win. So if you feel like helping me out a little, I can also get, you know, other games uh, on Steam if people want me to play them and stuff with the help of Patreon and stuff like that. But, I mean, by all means, you don't, like, have to. It's just, you know, putting it out there. The <laughs> link is always in the description of my videos, but hey. Alright, so moving on, enough of this promotion crap. Load game. To the poems we go. Right, okay. Bunny! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Electricity? Ah, tragedy. Treasure. Sayori's all happy about that. Swimsuit? Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna randomly pick words, I guess. Marshmallow. <laughs> Let's see. Hopeless. Aw. Vibrant. I like that. Hurt. All these ones that I thought were gonna be for Yuri were actually for Sayori. Oh. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Jeez. Monica's just like, oh crud. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Aha. You must have a lot of determination. <laughs> determination! Sorry. Starting this club and now picking up the piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. And are you ain't afraid to show it? <laughs> Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it weren't for all of you. If it wasn't for all of you. Grammar. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival, too. Ah, well, I can't wait for the festival. But she was, like, angry about it the last time, wasn't she? It's gonna be great. Ugh. Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Yeah, okay, I just said that. I swear this game can read my mind. Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. <laughs> you sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Come again? Fried squid? Squid? <laughs> That's a pretty specific thing to look, to look forward to. To look forward to. Holy crap. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You, of all people? Uh, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monica. Eh. That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. I'm lost. Da da da. Ah, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? Wait, was this game, like, translated from a different language or something? Is that what they mean by that? <sighs> Whatever. Speaking of, somebody was telling me in my first video, and I forgot to do it in my last one, um, to check the game files, so I'm gonna have to do that in a few minutes, I think. But I'm not sure why they want me to do that. Uh, so. 
I'm just putting it out there that yes, I did see your comment and yes, I did forget for the second video. So my apologies for that one, but I'll check in just a few minutes or maybe I'll just have it up in the background. Hold on. Just let, let's just uh, take a quick break from that. I thought Monica's just standing there with her mouth open like, okay, we'll just wait for you, I guess. One debt to society later. Okay, here we go. That took way longer than I expected it to, but since everyone requested it, I do have the game files up now. So, I see there's a characters folder. It has all the characters in it. ddlc.app. <clears throat> Excuse me. Contents. Oh, this is just, like, normal game stuff. Game. Audio, first run, fonts, images, scripts. I don't see what's so special about the game files, but whatever. Log. Yeah, there's nothing in the log. So I have it up just like people wanted me to, but I don't really know what it's supposed to do. So I'll just leave it minimized and we will continue. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea seeing as I just spent all that time looking for freaking game files. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. Fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me. Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. Well, that doesn't seem very Sayori-like. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my friend- my- my friend. <laughs> right. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah. Uh, eh, <laughs> sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. She looks sad. Huh. Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. <laughs> I worry too much about anybody. I'm fine, see? See where he shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I worriedly, worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Light, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but... Have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what, do you, in what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Light. You certainly know a lot. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. <sighs> yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club member- Club- Club? Club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just had- had- Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well... 
I probably shouldn't be saying too much, but... Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know? Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. <laughs> light. Sorry. What? Did you just say my name? No way! Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it has always been. <laughs> You're so funny, Light. Have you thought that maybe you were you've always seen her as so cheerful because that's just how she is when she's around you? Dot dot dot. Ah, uh, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'm not gonna forget that. I'll try to talk to her so you so you try not to the so try not to think about it for now. Right. Uh alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. That's new. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know I, that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from my from my desk, yeah, from her desk, and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice so quiet I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the only one- Wait, now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly I notice Yuri peering at me from her- over her book. But then she looks away as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't that we won't yeah, she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one the one next to bleh, sit in one next to her own. Jeez. Dot dot dot. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How are you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot, so it wasn't that hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Not that I was staring or anything. She's <laughs> like, oh no. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are the only concern, are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Okay. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. That's eh, not really that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little bit off today. When I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something's happened to her. Oh? That's quite romantic. Ugh? <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Sorry! I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that, I just don't want you to misunderstand. Sayori and I have been just friends. Hey, we've just been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, I see. Then perhaps it's unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Light. The world is full of meaning and often hidden deep beneath plain, plain sight. Yeah, I actually got that right. It's, for some reason it looked wrong. And there are many untold s told oh, Jesus. Here we go again. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah. So you think that there might be something behind it after all? Mm, I think that Sayori is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. <laughs> yes. I noticed her strange behavior t today, too. And I also feel some concern for her. 
but in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori. She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Dot dot dot. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Whoa! Okay. Her expression is gentle and curious as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes. A person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. That is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Da da da. She's like, nope. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple person. So I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Uh, that's not a compliment, is it? <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah. I should be taking my mind off of this whole thing anyway. Dot dot dot. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Before I know it, everyone is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Who should I show my poem to first? How about Sayori? Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Yikes. Eh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? <laughs> well, of course I am. I'd be a lot better if I knew my friend was okay. Good. That's all that matters to me. No, there's something on your mind. Thank you, Light. Sayori. Is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. Ooh, big truck go down the street. <laughs> I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Is, didn't she say that before, though? Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori? And tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheer cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. Who should I show my poem to next? I didn't even get to see hers. She left. How about... Uh, Monica. Hi, Light. Have you thought about what you were going to submit... What, what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people... I'll have to give it some more thought. <clears throat> okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. It's good. Haha. <laughs> ah, ha. Everything went really silent for a second, sorry. Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. <clears throat> Your style has gotten so refined. Like, Yuri's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? Well, I guess so. Yeah, I've been noticing how much time you spend with her. I think I've heard her say more words these past couple days than she's talked in the whole year. <laughs> Not sure how you did it, but that's pretty impressive. Well, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things in her head, I guess. I'm still getting the hang of it myself. Hmm. You're certainly putting in a lot of effort. You must really like her. Uh, that's... Haha. <laughs> it's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in a club room every day. 
<coughs> reading that edgy novel with her. Well, I just feel bad that she has a hard time socializing. It makes me want to make sure that she doesn't spend all of her time alone. Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know. Alright, alright. I get you. Just be careful, alright? I know that Yuri isn't used to opening herself up. So if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, then it could be really hard for her. Her books aren't a total escape from reality. They're just a bandage. You say that like I'm going to hurt her. Sorry, I didn't really mean that. If anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. What? Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, alright. The Lady Who Knows Everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend that is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight twilit sky. <laughs> this actually kind of reminds me of a comment that somebody just left on the first video. Twilight is not literature! Yeah. Until one day the wind ceases to blow. I fall and I fall and I fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger. The hand is a beautiful lady. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look in her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, in which, or all of which, amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me black, back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Yikes! Alright then. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything. <clears throat> but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we all had if we had all the answers, we because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in this club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, yeah, that. Anyway... Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. <laughs> Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to let a lukewarm response to something you wait to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find the other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing isn't is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Alright then. Who should I show my poem to next? Natsuki. I always say Yuri for last. Dot dot dot. This one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyway. I see what you were going for, but it's not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying to help a little bit. Well, of course, I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems, anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh? No, gross. It's not like I care. It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? That's, um... It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here even if I have to put up with you. Yikes. Gah! <laughs>
Natsuki's elbow connects with my stomach. Ow. Oh. Maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. <laughs> oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. Haha. <laughs> That's not funny. How the hell do you call that a joke? <laughs> she just elbowed this dude in the stomach. That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. You're just figuring this out? Anyway, Natsuki holds her poem out to me like nothing has happened. I'll be your beach. Okay. <laughs> that's weird. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light, the walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about every day. Or each day, sorry. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand, bathe in sunbeams, and hold my hand, wash your insecurities in the salty sea, and let me see you shine. Uh, let's leave your memories in a footprint trail, set you free in my windy sail, and remember the reasons you were wonderful when you press your lips to mine. What? I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. This kind of almost sounds like something Yuri would write, not Natsuki. <laughs> but if you let me by your side, you your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Aww. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach. So you decided to write about the beach first and then came up with a message later? Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing, she wanted to pick a topic and have us both write about it or whatever. Ugh. You can really see her doing that, too. Making us write about a simple topic and then trying to impress me with coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. <laughs> I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical, too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. I even want to know what Yuri's is going to be about since they're talking about the beach. By the way, the beach is like my favorite place to go. <laughs> dot dot dot. Light. Your writing has only improved in the last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. Oh, I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious even. I didn't think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. <laughs> this never did come naturally to me. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. Is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling... I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought I would feel like this. Aww. I remember you mention mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something and you never even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but... It's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well, Yuri smiles sadly. Like during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. But books are so full of amazing and inspiring people people you want to fall in love with or people you just know would make really good friends cheerful people who always put a smile on your face or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life 42 <laughs> anyway so when you look at it that way I'm surrounded by friends every day you know and those friends don't laugh at me they don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. Who would? And... And they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. 
People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all I'm not a know- uh, I'm not a know-it-all, Light. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. Aw. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings, and all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you that I really understood what I was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No. That's wrong. Just being patient and respectful. That's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person. I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. <laughs> I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. And I would say that I had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Um, if you put it that way, yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri puts her head in her hands. <laughs> but this time she's smiling as she does it. Do you want to show me your poem? Yeah. I do. Let me get it for you. Ghost Under the Light Part 2. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. In the distance, a blue-green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds as the silhouette, silhouette grows closer, closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from, the visibil from visibility. Jesus Christ, I can't talk. But I am too late. He steps into the streetlight. I grasp gasp and drop my umbrella the light flickers my heart pounds he raises his arm time stops the only indication of movement is the amber light flickering against the, his outstretched arm the flickering light is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart teasing me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion have you ever heard of a ghost feeling before a ghost feeling warmth before sorry giving up on understanding i laugh understanding yeah, understanding is overrated. I touch his hand. The flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. Finishing the poem, I start to hand it back to Yuri. But instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Da da da. Do you dislike it? Uh, no, of course not. I just don't really know how I should respond. Despite Yuri's poems usually being cryptic, this wasn't too hard to figure out what it was about. Also, this clearly isn't the poem that Nasuki said that she wrote about. Meaning, I'm probably the only one she's showing this to. I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. <laughs> That's fine. I understand this one. Dot dot dot. Yuri is having an even harder time speaking than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. I'm not really good with words, but I'm happy that you shared it with me. So thank you. And I hope we keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge on Yuri's lips. Mm -hmm. I once again try to hand the poem back to her. But instead, Yuri gently takes my hands and pushes them back toward me. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. You can... Um... The poem is... Once again, Yuri fails to form a complete sentence. You mean I can keep it? Yuri nods. I'd love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles as if she doesn't want me to notice. You always... You always make me feel nice. I know I'm not good with people, but... I hope that I can return the favor sometimes. Yeah. Don't worry. I think you do a good job. Yuri finally turns back toward me. I guess we should move on before Monica says something. But I'm sure we can talk again later. Yeah. I'm sure we will. With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me and I return to my seat so I can put her poem away. 
Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out- Hold on a second. Is it just me or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. <laughs> Ugh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrors, ter terrors, terrible <laughs> is about to happen. I don't even think I'm going to edit that out because that was just too funny. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah. It seems you're right. Sigh. Sayori always helps lighten the mood for us a little bit, doesn't she? Or lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? But either way, that worked. It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. <laughs> Way to keep it sort of, like... I don't even know. Private. Not that pee is, like, a private thing, really. I mean, everybody does it. We all know that everybody does it. But still, you don't have to say it. Natsuki, please show, show some decency. Yeah, seriously. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time that she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. <laughs> yeah, that's like the worst thing to do. Who? What? How do you even say that? Who? Who? What? I don't even know. That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people? Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... Uh... Do you mind explaining why you just completely ignored me? Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. Again. <laughs> of course. But we might need a lot of them. And different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. Look at that face. She's so adorable. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. So Sayori, jeez, I can never say her name right if I'm saying it fast. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, dot dot dot, Yuri, you can, uh, um, dot dot dot, <laughs> guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? She's standing right there, girl. I, I'm useless. No, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Da, da, da. <laughs> now Natsuki's pouting too? Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah, that may be the case, but if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere atmosphere? <laughs> she perked right up with that one. It's like, did you just say atmosphere? Um, about that, I, I love atmosphere. <laughs> Look at that is the face of determination right there. <laughs> Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. She's like headbanging. I love atmosphere. <laughs> Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Light. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh, don't say that. I just had to correct Yuri, so why don't you shut your mouth? <laughs> In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. 
It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. It would be... I would be really appreciative of that. Uh... That's... Is Monica suggesting that I spend the weekend with one of my club members? Ooh la la, what's going to happen? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh... I suppose... I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica's gonna give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um... If I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Light might not like to be around if you only make her out to be a nuisance. So therefore, she may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. So there. <laughs> Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Monica's just standing here like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, <laughs> somebody needs a triggered meme, like, now. Sounds more like... <laughs> Sorry. I shouldn't say that because I get so mad when people actually say that, but that's literally... Like, I'm looking at her right now, and it's like, she has that smile on her face, and, but deep down she's like, you guys need to shut the F up before I punch you both in the nose. <laughs> Sounds more like you're just looking... <laughs> I, can't even say, I can't even say this right because I'm laughing so hard. Sounds more like you're just making excuses for light too. What are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't. Just what you just what do you uh, just what do you think? Guys, guys. <laughs> Again, triggered. <laughs> Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Light to decide how she'd like to contribute. Besides, she hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? Yeah, it's not gonna happen because I'm not really all that attracted to you, girl. Sorry. So I'm sure she's interested in... You literally just said... <laughs> Natsuki, oh my god. I'm surprised as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Light, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah. Of course. <laughs> I'm certainly not gonna go with Hoomph Girl. Very well. In that case... Everyone looks straight at me. But of course I'm gonna go with... Yuri! Well, I'll probably be most helpful... Sorry, be most useful, helpful, whatever, helping Yuri out. Me? Yeah, that's what I just said. Are you serious? Why would you... Natsuki, I can already tell you're about to say something mean. N no I was just saying... Ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, like... Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. Two seconds ago, you were all blushy and stuff. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. I'm not surprised. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I'd be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. That's different from any other day. So is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word. Oh, sure it is. Deep down you're like, oh my god! But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a, a little bit. Just a, a tad. A teeny bit. Do you feel the same way too, Light? Me? I'm pretty sure my name is Light, so yeah. I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. Of course you are. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Dot dot dot. Natsuki! What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. N no. That's not what I meant at all. Ah. Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Light picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. <laughs> they go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will ever compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um... Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. 
Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say in a time like this. It is true. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No. I kinda appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm gonna say this. Dot dot dot. You better bet that my cupcakes are gonna be the best part of the whole event. <laughs> ah. I believe you. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I wanna- I totally wanna just like reach in the screen and eat one of them because like just the way they described it made my mouth water and I'm like, <laughs> I need to make some of these but I am horrible at decorating. So like I could bake a decent cupcake but I would not be able to decorate it the way that they said. That would suck. Anyway. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start, start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um... Eh? I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Ooh. Okay, then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, it wouldn't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I just need to make sure my room is clean. Oh, what are you going to be doing in your bedroom? I don't know if I want to do this anymore. My my channel is children or child kid friendly, or sort of. <laughs> also, keep in mind since it seems to be getting down to what could be considered, I don't know, inappropriate. I probably will uh, blur out any body parts, you know. <laughs> Because there are young kids who watch my channel, and I would rather blur them out. But I might make two different versions of the video, and make one link only. So if people really complain about it, I'll just give them a link. Here, take this. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I'm just letting you know that right now. So if there's any nudity or any sort of, like, this says it has highly disturbing content, so I'll probably, you know, blur stuff out, or maybe use, like, some sort of, I don't know, sensor bar or something. Just putting that out there. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Light. I think that we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait! You don't actually think that, do you? Da da da. I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But... Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you were overthinking, right? Eh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous, tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this! Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. What are you hinting at? More than that, she told me she was looking forward to it. 
Is this a chance I have to make something happen between us? Oh lordy. Why? Why? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. <laughs> it's already Sunday. Oh, that was really quick. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert, and also an intimate per- intimate- wow, person- person- oh my god. In general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a, a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've even been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decide to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit to simply entering each other's houses like we're family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her to not run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, Light. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals in the wall decorations that she's had for years now. Hehe. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we had decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good light. <laughs> eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. What the hell? Hee <laughs> hee. She says all that and then laughs. Like, really? Sayori. <laughs> I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. Uh, ah uh, <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Light. <laughs> but you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you even talking about, Sayori? He, You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Light? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Didn't I say that at, like, the beginning of the game? 
Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Wow. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy, ugh, energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Dot dot dot. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is this possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think of that think that about her? Why, Sayori? Eh? Eh? <laughs> That's what I just said. Why is it that you've never told me about this? I almost it almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. And all you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Light. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about, caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Haha. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided just- wait, the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Aha. Uh -huh. You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you to stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Light. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could help- wait, that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Jesus. She's not. <laughs> Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting me in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. What are you going to do to yourself? Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Aww. Ah, uh, light. Sayori, I don't really care if you feel selfish. I'm just really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. Aww. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Light. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. <clears throat> she starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Light. I... Sayori ba barely manages, manages to speak through her sobs. Between her sobs, sorry. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything you need me to do, then you better tell me. <laughs> I'll get mad if you don't. Dot dot dot. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. That's- it's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, like- The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. Wait, the only time I'm not feeling nothing. Yeah, okay, I got it right. But your hugs are so warm. <laughs> <coughs> and that's really scary too. Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. 
It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um. Uh. It's what I want. I promise. I. I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sayori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should just cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. If that would be very good for me. For me to- Oh my god. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayori and leave her- Wait. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. Speak. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy, but it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over too. <clears throat> I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. A brick wall. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a little moment of panic. Yuri? Ah. Thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I just started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. <laughs> you always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Ah, I suppose that's true. I didn't think that for some reason. She's so pretty with that turtleneck. It should be common sense to do that, but I decide to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. I take Yuri to my room. Wow, we just go straight to the bedroom. The first thing she does is glance around curious curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> Aha! I cleaned it before you came over, so... Well, that's very considerate of you to do. Uh, no. I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah. That would be even more embarrassing. <laughs> that's true. Wait, don't look in there! Oops. Wrong click. I snatch Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Ah! I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts, puts both of her hands firmly in her lap as if making sure she's keeping track of them. <laughs> so, um, should we get started? Uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with decorations and other atmospheric enhancements atmospheric enhancements <laughs> you know mood lighting aromatherapy candles oh wow I didn't know you planned on taking it that far <laughs> of course I want to help take our guests to our to a uh, I want to help take our guests to a faraway place although many will stop by just out of curiosity and for cupcakes, I guess, I am determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Ah. Intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. <laughs> it's something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object. Ooh, I know what that is. 
I did the- I did- did I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. <clears throat> I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's in the wooden thing, though? It's incense. Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. Yeah, it's- it's like- like incense. We have, um, something similar. It's like one of the- you like light the sticks. And you put it in like the long, almost looks like a coffin kind of thing. And, oh my god, it smells so amazing. I have incense like all over the place. I love them. So as soon as I heard that, I was like, I know what that is! How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Uh, not familiar at all. I don't know if you're talking to the real light over here, though. Yeah. Ah, uh, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pulls, it pulls it pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine essential oil. Oh my god, I love jasmine. It smells a little sweet sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I choose jas chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer, your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that would be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable. But you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon and hang them from a doorway to the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper to the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some people- wait, it may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. Actually, for some reason when they were talking about like this festival, I actually kind of thought the festival was going to be held outside. So now that she just said something about the classroom door, I'm like, oh, okay, it's going to be in the school. I didn't know that. I don't know why I thought that. It's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? <laughs> well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you'd put it. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. She always has red cheeks. <laughs> Game, get your act together. Is it just me or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker light. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you finish- wait, I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, uh, alright. Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my band, my band, my bad handwriting and my bad speaking. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more, once more, and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. Wow, that sounds really pretty. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. Oh my god. It's gorgeous. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Uh, well, embarrassed, Yuri looks away. Wait, she doesn't even have a pocket. She's wearing freaking leggings. Just putting that out there. What is it? You're gonna think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out. Yeah, I promise. Where is this going? Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. Well, that's great. They're just so pretty. Yes, they are. I have a sword in my attic. Just putting that out there. <laughs> I don't use it for anything and it's like dull as hell, but 
I have one. It's really pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling... And the feeling of danger, maybe. Ugh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. Aha. Uh -huh. You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how you're nervous... Wait, how nervous you got about sharing. Well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her exprens ex expression. Yeah. <laughs> expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I point the knife with my index- I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Light! Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. The knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Yikes! Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down from the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Is that even possible? For a knife to actually like be able to cut skin like it's paper? Uh, she stares at it and noticeably, noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah! Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound! I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Oh, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. <laughs> How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, sure, it was a little weird and it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. <laughs> Light! <laughs> Did you really just do that? Now we're even. <laughs> the look at her face, she's just like, wait, what? <laughs> Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of jasmine oil, the, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Light. Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Ah. I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected, and will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy were a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. I'll be, I'll be right back in a minute. Well, all right then. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it'll be too diluted. Diluted. Eh. Taking Yuri's advice, I decided to use the small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips and then bring it back to my room. Yuri? Yes? 
I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh. No, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so... Let's mix the paint. Yuri hur hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. It can hang out on the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. What are you going to write? Well, it will be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. <laughs> Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah. I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean like that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah. It's fun. I'm glad you feel that way, too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like it when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes me feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. Me too, man. <laughs> I feel the way about things like anime and games where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush, but I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Ouch. Kya. Kya. How do you pronounce that? Kya. <laughs> Sorry. Yuri reels back, and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. Just, it just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Oh, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Here. I pat Yuri's face and neck with the face and neck with the towel. Yeah. Ah. Uh, is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Eh? Just for a little longer. It feels really nice. <laughs> ah. I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. It's almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through- wait, half through slightly parted lips. What? What is happening? Is the aroma, aroma of jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrists and a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Uh. Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Okay, I really thought that was going to get kind of... <sighs> Yuri picks up her brush again. But her movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. <laughs> I hesitantly retrie retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots so it looks like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's very pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. 
but I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it'll be best to leave it here then, have you bring it in in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. Aha. Uh -huh. You say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Ah, uh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah. So you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we could have extra time after finishing the work. Well... Yuri thinks to herself. I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. <laughs> no, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all of her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean that this has to be the last time it can happen. Ooh la la. Once Yuri packs up, I walk her out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say that without thinking. About today, it's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted, because we can always do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over, we can just go out somewhere. Ah, forget you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles bashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful. Yuri takes a step closer to me and then briefly squeezes my hand. Whoa! I kind of like that about you. <laughs> Jesus. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. Sayori? <laughs> eh? Ha! Ah. Hi, Light. Hi, Sayori. Or er, Sayori, just... No, hi. Just Sayori. Just now, we weren't... Hehe. <laughs> it's okay, Light. I just stopped by to say hi. Um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course. Sayori beams. Yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori... I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ah, uh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Yuri. And how close you got to her. It makes me really happy, which is exactly why she's crying, that you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way late? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. No. You're, no one's disappearing. No, 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 no. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, late. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Da da da. Sayori, what I said before is true. It's not going to... I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, 
I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Light. I'm really scared. What are you so scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... That I might like you more than you like me. Oh, bombshell. <laughs> Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Light. I like you so much that I want to die. No, don't don't be dying. Dying not not an option. That's how I feel. And and that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slid my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now, and that's what I'm going to give it to you. Give to you, eh. Oh! Well... You know, you can still love someone even if they're your best friend. Like, I had a best friend who, like, I loved as a best friend, but, like, wasn't in love with him. It was, like, more of like I don't know I okay wait <laughs> crap this is a bad situation to be in because that is definitely not what she wants to hear but that is not true if he's spending that much time with Yuri okay you'll always be my dearest friend <clears throat> you'll always be my dearest friend what do you what you need the most is for things to be like they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seem to be after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll help get things back oh I didn't even read that. Hold on, wait, history. I promise I'll help get things back to the way they were. Okay. But that is a great option right there. I I see. Sayori forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. Oh, I have a really bad feeling about this. <laughs> Did I choose the wrong option? Aha. Uh -huh. Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I should write a poem about this. Sayori. It's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. So please, please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time that there's no happiness down that path. What? That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing. You're also right that I just wanted it to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So, Siori's smile f finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. I am not going to read that, but loud scream. <laughs> Clutching her head with both hands, she screams so loud. She screams as loudly as she can. I have a really bad feeling that I chose the wrong decision, and I didn't save beforehand. <laughs> Crap. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Siri looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. <coughs> Siri, da da da. I'm left helplessly standing in the front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more that I could have done. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. Well, actually, no, there's something you could have done. You could have told her that you loved her, I assume. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sayori will always be my dearest friend. And I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. Alright. So I'm going to end this here. Yeah. The day of the festival. I'm going to end it here. 
because it's like an hour and a half long. So, um, yeah, I will be uploading another one either tomorrow or the next day. Um, we'll see how everything plays out. But, yeah, so let me save. Yeah, I have a bad feeling that I chose something wrong, but what can you do? Especially seeing as I didn't follow Monica's advice and I didn't save. So, it's the day of the festival. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, I know a lot of people have been trying to sort of give me spoilers, but I'm trying to ignore them as much as possible. So, please stop trying to give me spoilers. I want to figure this out myself. Like, I've been actively ignoring those, and I don't like ignoring people. It makes me feel bad, so don't do that. <laughs> stop it. Anyway, like I said before, Thanks to the help that I have been receiving on Patreon, I was able to get things that I needed. Um, you know, well, one thing that I needed, and um, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sitting here like asking for money or anything. You know, I'm not going to be like a beggar. Oh, give me money, give me money. But that's what the Patreon is for. Like a lot of people aren't really. I don't think. Like a lot of YouTubers have made Patreon out to be sort of a bad thing. They use it and they scam their followers or whatever. But that's not the case. Like, a lot of people want me to play games that I can't afford right now. So, it's like, if I have the money from, you know, obviously, I'm not getting anything from YouTube because I'm such a small channel. But it's like, if I had that extra money, then if somebody requested me to play something and I had the money, I could get it and I could play it, you know, here on the channel. So, you know, it helped me get a video editor that I was already using, but it was like the demo version, and uh, I was able to buy that today, so that was nice. So it's just, you know, I'm just putting it out there. That's why it's there. That's what it's there for. So, yeah, okay, enough rambling, and again, I'm not trying to, you know, promote or whatever. I just want to put it out there in case people don't read the description, but I really do have a Patreon, and you'll see at the end who's, well, pledging to me, one person. <laughs> but anyway, um, sort of a sad note to end this on. I kind of feel bad now with like this whole Sayori thing. I don't know what's gonna happen. I feel bad. I broke her heart. I'm sad now. Anyway, I will be back soon with a new episode and until then, have a good day, night, whatever it is, where you are, and I will be back soon. Very soon. Maybe too soon. You'll never be able to get rid of me. Okay, sorry.